G'day and welcome to Cloud Cartographer. One of my passions since working with Kubernetes is actually to get a really nice lightweight CI CD pipeline up and running. And I've tried to work to that end for some time now. Um, and people are still saying, you know, it's too difficult um, rolling out things using CIs. Some of the tools that are out there are a little bit complicated. So I've made it my mission over the last day or two to see if I could simplify the process. And I want to issue myself a little bit of a challenge. I want to go to zero to CI in five minutes. So what you can see on my screen, let's just get straight into it. I'm going to go through the whole thing. What you see on my screen here is a uh, Croc Hunter repo. And my Croc, Runter, uh, Croc Hunter repo has uh, my source code and my Jenkins pipeline file in it. I also have just added uh, a Jenkins values file here. And these are my specific overrides. Everything I'm doing is configurable out of the box if you want to use it. Um, just please just run uh, helm install with a dash F and you can install with this file. Okay, so let's get going here. Here I have three things. Um, I'm going to be working up here. Down here, I'm going to show you where the uh, Jenkins installation is installed and down the bottom, it's going to be my release. Okay, so I'm going to do a helm search here for Jenkins. Right, so we have that version. I'm going to install from the upstream chart repo, helm install stable. Jenkins. I'm going to use my uh, Jenkins override file, Jenkins.values, um, and that's just my specific settings with the plugins I need to get this up and running. Um, and I'm going to put that in a namespace, as you can see from the window down below, called Jenkins-blue. Okay, so we'll kick that off. We should see in the second window, um, we should see a pod starting once this installs. Okay, so fantastic. That's actually installed. We can see Misty Wombat Jenkins pod up and running. And what I'm going to do here is just grab the password to prepare. Don't worry, I'm going to delete all this after I'm done. So if you grab this password, it's not super secret. So I have the password ready to go. Once this um, Jenkins pod down here goes to running, I should have access to it. So I'm actually using a bunch of other tools. This is just a default uh, uh, Kubernetes cluster, apart from the fact that I've used Helm actually to install Kubelego and the Nginx Ingress. So it's up and running here now. And as you can see from my override, I've actually defined um, a host name called this, and that should be behind this Ingress that I've set up. And so hopefully we'll have access. So fantastic. It's still coming up. But this is great, right? I have a secure site. It's actually behind Acme. Acme has provisioned um, Let's Encrypt great services and issued a certificate for this name. And it's behind an ingress encrypted. Isn't that fantastic? So I have a secure out of the box Jenkins master that's up and running here. Um, so let's go ahead and log in. I think I grabbed the password there. I did not. Um, let me just go back and grab the password here and log in. Right, so in, we have Jenkins up and running, and in my Jenkins values file, I've actually defined the plugins that I want to run and a few other bits and pieces, right, just some overrides. Um, so we should almost be ready to go. What I'm going to do here is I know that I need to add one of my Croc Hunter library. What I'm going to do before um, I do that is I know that I need credentials to actually push to Quay, which is where I publish, publish my images. So I'm going to just add my credentials here. Um, Jenkins blue and let me just grab my credentials from over here uh, Quay into PV copy okay so I've got them in my buffer now and I'm just going to call this Quay creds and all I've done is created a simple credentials there you could automate that if you like as well but this is just to publish my containers out now I want to show you something really cool here, starting to get to use uh, the Jenkins Blue Ocean. And what we're going to show you is how to get everything up and running. So we're going to click through this GitHub. Um, I don't have a key. Let's go and create one. It's all really nice and automated. Um, Jenkins Blue, let's just call it that. Generate a token. So I've got my token here. I'm going to copy it into my buffer, put it back into the, uh, the Jenkins Blue interface here, and connect Jenkins with my repo. It's going to say which org. Um, it's under the Locky83 org. I'm going to say use a new pipeline from a single repository. And I'm just going to search for Croc Hunter because there's a whole bunch of repos under my org there. Create pipeline.
OK. So what we should see now is Jenkins Blues detected actually two branches. I'll go over and just show you what we have in my repo. So it's detecting based on the existence of this Jenkins file out of the box, which is the pipeline, which says all the bits of how I want to build and publish my application to Kubernetes. Um, so with very minimal effort, we have this up and running, and those branches are going to run now. Now what I'm expecting to happen is Jenkins should spin up, and we can see it here, it's been running for 19 seconds, some Kubernetes pods. And the Jenkins master is actually telling the Jenkins agent to spin up a pod. And all that configuration for what and how things need to be built lies in this Jenkins file. And that is completely checked in to source here. So I say I have this Jenkins pipeline file. Here's my uh, Jenkins agent. And here's a bunch of containers which uh, will build and publish um, my application out to Kubernetes. So we've got Docker, Golang, Helm, and kubectl. So inside each of these sections here, you can see inside the Golang container, I'm going to uh, build my application. Inside the Helm container, I'm going to test it. I'm going to um, do a dry run on a deploy, publish it using the Docker container, and then go and push it to Kubernetes using the Helm container. And I'm also running a Helm test. So in order to stay under the five minutes here, we, we're going to have to keep moving. Um, so let's go over to dev and see if this thing's being built. No, it's still waiting. Let's have a look if the master branch is being built. OK, so master's actually way ahead of dev right now. And master actually pushes to a Kubernetes cluster. So we should actually see this go through and create a deployment under Croc Hunter. If this is all to go through. Um, so that's happening right now. And this new UI for um, Jenkins makes it a lot simpler just to see what you need to see um, and give you really pertinent information. So that deployment has actually gone out. OK. So let's do a Helm list here. OK, so we actually have Croc Hunter here deployed to the Croc Hunter. Not sure why I don't see any pods yet. Am I on the same cluster? OK, I wasn't, wasn't actually on the same cluster. So you can see this has actually been running for 40 seconds, and it's out there. Just off that single pipeline run, the dev pipeline you should see that's also running as well, or it's still waiting for it to start. That should kick up quite soon um, once this guy exits. So I want to go for bonus points here so you can see the dev, dev branch is being built now. Fantastic, so that's happening. Okay, so just for some bonus, bonus points here, what I would like to do is actually webhook into this. So, I, so that when I push changes, they get picked up. So what I'm going to do is go back over to my, um, actually, I'll go to my Croc Hunter repo, go to settings. All right, and I'm just going to publish a webhook here. Okay, and I'm going to take the URL of this and create a new one. That was my old instance, I'll mute that. Create a new webhook and I'm going to tell it uh, git, github web, webhook spell. I'm going to say just push everything for now so I don't have to selectively do it. Add webhook. OK, so we've got a webhook firing now. You can see that that payload has been delivered to Jenkins and that I've got a 200 back. So we should be in business now. Once we push things out, we should see things happen. So I'm going to jump over here to my source code. And let me just grab uh, crockhunter.go and let's push out a change. Before I actually push that out, let's go and just confirm that my app has been pushed out. So here's my app, again, sitting behind an ingress, ingress controller. It's been pushed out here. Um, we'll just check the um, commit char there that it's actually off master for this repo. Commit's 339. Okay, so yes, this container was built off this git char and has been pushed out. So we're out there running now. I'm just going to go through the demo and, and push out one change through the whole pipeline just to show you the whole flow. So that game has been pushed out. Okay, I'm going to change this JS file. Um, go back to my git tools to show you actually what I'm doing here. Git got that change here. Bumped JS version. 
Okay, get push. So now that webhook should fire against that Jenkins instance. Jenkins should know that a change has been made against the dev branch. We should see that get picked up here in just a second. Yeah, you can see that it's actually happening now. Here we go. So it has picked up that change. It's going to go out and go through the whole pipeline again and, and wait for that to finish. So let's just assume we'll kick off um, in the essence of time here. Um, I'm just going to create a pull request. Okay. So now we've got a pull request against that repo with that one change. Just a typical flow here. The one change is there. That's getting built. And we should actually see that a PR has been put in. Um, I don't know that I'm saying pull, pull the PRs out. So why don't we go and fix that? I've just got to go and tell Jenkins here as part of this build to actually pick up that PR, which is fairly simple for this org. So I'm just going to configure it here. There's one more button to click. Okay, so I'm just going to tell it's under advanced here exactly what I want it to do, which is to pull um, PR branches as well. Okay. Okay, build origin PRs, merge with base branch. Okay, so we're going to do that. Let's do a scan. Okay, so here's PR66 now. Okay. So there was just one button to tick. My apologies there for uh, throwing everybody off, but we should see now that we have PR, right? So we have the PR, we have the two branches that are getting built. So we can see that this has gone through bump.js version. If we click on this, we can see all the discrete steps. We can see the actual change, the commit, um, no tests, and there's the artifact, the pipeline log. So this is going through PR right now. I should be able to just Pop back over here, take a look at the PR, see that it's building because the webhooks, we can see that the PR merge branch there is waiting to be built and published, um, and that'll fire, fire back. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So again, everything is being done on, uh, as via the Kubernetes plugin. So all these builds are all containerized, running on Kubernetes. As you can see, very lightweight. I had a Jenkins infrastructure up and running in less than five minutes. This video may be just a touch longer with very minimal overhead. The only things that I had to change was add a webhook if you want that functionality, add my credentials to push to my um, container repository, which is, is standard practice there. You could automate that. And the final thing was tell it to build um, PRs, which there wasn't a flag out of the box to do that. So this is actually building um, a PR now, off the PR, publishing that guy, uh, that container out to Quay. That's happened. I should have a green tick everywhere. Everything's passed. We should be good to go. Let's just merge that in. All right. So again, we should see activity here. Master's been picked up. Fantastic. Oh, I didn't need a refresh. I got the... Here we go, and we should actually push the updated code out. All right, so that PR has been merged. Pop back over to my terminal here. We can see that a, uh, a pod has been spun up to run this workload, and we should see, if we continue to watch here, that this deployment will be updated, and I should have access to my game. So um, this is the work that... You know, the community, community's been doing to make Jenkins much more simple to deploy and consume. So I hope you really like this video. We'll wait for this thing to end. Um, but that was it. Um, almost makes it look really easy, and it should really be that simple. Um, so thanks for joining in. We'll just go and take a look and see how far we are on this. Still waiting for it to come up. Okay, wait for that to finish.
All right, it's publishing the container and then it's going to do a helm. It's actually going to do something interesting here. Um, it's going to run a helm test as well. So if you keep your eye down the bottom, it's going to do a deployment and run a helm test against that deployment. Um, so when I actually push it out, I check the running state to make sure that it's um, OK and error if I get a, uh, a failure. So we're almost there. Hang in there. I was hoping to get this under five minutes. Okay. There you go. Let's see it up and running there. See the new containers being created. They'll go through. And you can see the test there running as well. And it's exited. Should see this rolling update finish up. Okay, so we're all rolled out and deployed. You can see that I have an updated char here. Let's just go and prove that it actually did what we wanted it to do. Yep, so we're there. And I'm now shooting fish. So that's it. Fantastic. Thanks for joining. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.